Edward Romsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Hello guys and welcome to my let's play of Prison Architect. I, at least a campaign let's play. I think I'll make two separate let's plays. So one with the campaign and then one with the whole free roam mode. And I will label this one campaign. And the one I'll do in the future is going to be called just normal prison architect let's play, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing the campaign in case you didn't already realize based on what I already said. Uh, and uh, I don't really only load the volume temporarily because of, wow, it's, it's loud. It's pretty loud. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. And then we're just going to go ahead and launch. Uh, I have played this game before. I do realize how it works. And um, I really enjoyed it last time I played it, like, <laughs> a couple years ago. But this is the campaign. Uh, Death Row. We've contacted... Oh, sorry. I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking. We've been contracted to build an execution chamber at this prison. And this in time for the scheduled execution of one of the inmates. Sorry, the music is super loud. I, I like to think, and, and this music, I, I cannot think when it's that loud. I will lower it for you guys, but just so you know, super loud for me. <laughs> Hello there, prisoners. How are you doing? Is this a prison I'm gonna manage? Yay! <laughs> cool. Um, so, oh, incoming call. Click to continue. Sure. Oh, and if you guys hear clicks, I'm using a new mouse. Uh, I will only be using this mouse for this Let's Play if it's loud. Just so you're aware. This is a tough one. I need to click on this. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Doesn't seem unethical at all. What do you mean? <laughs> Human life is valuable. I mean, he killed two people. I, in my eyes, as soon as you kill someone, you lose the right to your life as well. So, This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself. Uh, with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Uh, build a large jail door into the south wall. Okay, got it. Oh, these are tiny. Last time I played this, it was on a 1080p screen. Like, it was a couple years ago, too. Uh, brick or concrete? We want it to look deadly, so concrete. So, oh, you want to build inside here. Okay, that's fine. And then a jail door. Correct. I need, I need a jail door, too. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. Uh, they'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. Okay. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations uh, and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead uh, when building new facilities. I'll be wait, take a look around, use WSD and arrow keys to move around, and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Oh yeah. Mm. Then that's the mouse wheel for you. It's so weird using a good mouse. I'm so used to using a, a bad mouse. Alright, let's see. Uh, doors, though. Um, fence, bit of do, bad wall. Uh, it needs to be a large jail door. Doors. There we go. 
<clears throat> Alright, let's take a look around. So this is our, our little prison. He is a prick. He, wait, he is a prick. He is 12. He deserves to be punished for good. Punished good, wink. Wait, what? <laughs> Sentenced to 24 years of armed robbery. Arno Adam was charged with negligent homicide after he tossed the computer out of the window upon learning that the intro version software video game subversion has been cancelled. He accidentally killed a pedestrian down the street with it. <laughs> What's... I love how his papers this is an accident and why is he why is he here? Uh family father okay, interesting. Twenty eight years. Carjacking, car theft. Death by dangerous driving. Perjury. He already served these two years. Uh aggravated burglary. He already served 7.9 years. That's kind of interesting. He already served except this one. Wow. Eight years to go, buddy. Raven Blood, younger brother of the Blood siblings, charged for uncon uncountable counts of brutal murder investing in shady shares overseas who pay for his show, stealing a baron with a whirling death and being too awesome. Also, Draven. What? <laughs> Are these player made? Bribery, forgery, and fraud. Oh, there we go. Inside the building, I want a cell and an execution room. Uh, partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Oh, you want brick walls? I'll make brick walls. All good. Did it. I think I did it anyway. Yeah, they're, they're getting to it. Come on, come on, workers, you got this. I believe in you. Okay, back to normal time. Now add large jail doors to those dividing walls. Uh, you can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button and or press R. So R for rotate, okay. Oh, jail doors, okay. All good. Large chill door. Understood, understood. So how did they build this? Is this actually like... It is. Super tiny though. Can I expand? I don't remember if you can expand the area or not. I can't look at their backgrounds. If anything, it makes sense that I can look at their backgrounds. I mean, aren't you very dangerous because you have... That shirt. Isn't it something about yellow is easy, orange is middle, and red is like dangerous? And who are we executing again? You? I think it's this guy. Can you even click on him? I need to go and guy that just wants to do this all uh, do his time. Although quick to anger and prone to random outbursts of rage over nothing. Enjoy a cup of tea after a good fight. So he is sentenced 40 years because he wants to stay for 40 years in prison. <laughs> okay. You guys are weird priorities. Okay, all good. What's next, dude? CEO, don't point at me like that. That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in a smaller area where you, our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in a larger area. Uh, Alright. This is going to be death room. And uh, this is going to be cell room. Uh, bed. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. Uh, the cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. Just put in the middle here. There we go. Toilet. We want to build a toilet here. Fine. And then a bed. Here you go. Uh, that should be that.
All right, it is done, CEO. That's the essential taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. Uh, it's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and the environment. The cell itself could be improved with some outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. Uh, and the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. Okay, this is the man in question, Edward R Rom Romsey. A teacher once, would you believe, uh, it's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you're satisfied, the facility is ready. You can begin the prisoner transfer to a new cell. Uh, simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Okay. So I will improve it a little bit because that's nice and, and kind. So... Oh, paving stone is this one. I'll go ahead and make this like so. There we go. Perfect. That's good enough, right? Mud? It's gonna be muddy. They need to look out into the mud. A window. Look out in the mud. And a bookshelf over here to read. And a light. Um, I don't know. Put that right here. It's making mud. All right, people, come on, faster, get going. What, someone is hiding drugs? Is that what I saw? Execution. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to execute anyone right now, but I will right now. The chief. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I... Don't, just don't. What are you going to do? <laughs> just shot both of them? It looks a little bit like the guy from Batman, the, um, the main dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't technically feel bad for him, but at the same time, it must suck to have your wife cheat on you. Doesn't mean you should murder anyone, though. Clear as day, if you ask me, deserves every vault he's scared you're gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you sure on yourself that you can deal out such a final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. That is true. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Oh boy, presenting two sides of, uh, of the, the law here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. Uh, I see. 
We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, uh, which shows us the electrical wiring layout of the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the lower power or the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. All right. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All of the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode and understand why the lights are without power. I mean, I can clearly see it. It doesn't even extend here. The news electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the wing of the prison. Yeah, I know I've done that. I know I've done this before in my own thingy, like, years ago. I'll just do it like this. And then I'll just go like this. And then because I am compassionate, I go like this, go like this, and then I go like this. That should be enough, right? Build. Come on, people. Build. You can do it. You're making food for me? That would be nice. Can we get bring me a cup of tea as well? That would also be great. So two missing. Just one more. Come on. <laughs> so slow. Come on, faster. Thank you. Uh, lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Uh, use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. I did. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the main cables. Uh, I thought I already did. Oh. Like that? I think I did it. I just need to wait for them to uh, do their little work. Didn't do it. Wait, what? What do you wait? What does it want me to do? Is, isn't this <laughs> what? That should work. If this doesn't work, I don't know how to do that. What? But, uh, what? What? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, they're not getting power somehow. Oh, wait. That's what's going on. Well, just spend a little extra money on the electric chair room. You know, you never have too much electrical stuff in there, you know? Almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay. Uh oh. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker and the power station. The whole prison's dark. Uh, we're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Don't worry, I got this. I got this. I just clicked more stuff in there. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors to, uh, so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. To just three? Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. I mean, I haven't turned it on yet. I do this too. Just a few extras. So yeah, I can uh, switch it on. Come on, people. Need more. Build, I say. Build. 
Thank you, good, that should be enough. Click on it and switch to on. Uh, switch on. I think it worked. Well done, I believe we have finished with this job. Alright, goodbye. Nice being a prison manager, warden thing. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. It's hard to worry about what happens next or hard to not to worry about it when you are going to execute him right in front of me. Can I help you? Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know, I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you have done, you cannot evade consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Oh, I didn't put the nice floor in there. Oh, well. Because it happens. You really have to wear a mask like that? Edward Romsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. It's bright. This is very bright. Chapter 2 pa Palermo? What fire? No, 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 we gotta stop this. There's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put it out, stop any casualties, and prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Uh, uh please, I need assistance. Please, two, two of you. Maybe one paramedic just in case someone gets hurt. Um, how, how, how do I... To order your fireman to move? Get over there. Fire, fire team, go! Get over here. A 
Okay, and then you guys, you 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 go you go over here too. Come on. Did I tell them to go into the fire? Because I might die now. Come on, go over here. Get down here, get down, get inside, come on. Okay, just keep stopping it. The guy is injured. <laughs> no, they're injured. Please, paramedics, get in here. They're a bit riled up, aren't they? My god, the survivor in the wreckage. Did he start it? Christ on a crotch is Don Palermo. Of all the inmates, he just had to be our mob boss. The bad news for him is that budget cuts have meant we had to sack all our... Wait. Sack all our permanent doctors? The good news is our infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of Don Palermo whilst we sort this mess out. Sounds like a good idea. We need to clean up this mess. Uh, use the bulldoze tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all the debris. Do we really have to remove all of it? Designate a garbage zone adjacent to the road. Uh, our workmen will dump the records there for the garbage trucks to dispose of. Finally, can you send those firemen home now that they've done their job? I've added more details to one of each of these objectives into your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the object and you'll see additional instructions. Um, sure. I have a couple of doctors to staff the infirmary. Okay, staff. One, two, three. Here we go, a couple of workers. Garbage. Alright, garbage zone right here. Uh, and next up, we have bulldoze. And you want to bulldoze how much? All of this. You do realize that it is unnecessary, right? Whatever. Keep bulldozing it all. Alright, get to it, workers. Uh, oh, you're calling me. Um, demolishing those buildings will take a while. You can pass the time more quickly by using the buttons under the clock. I, I am already using those. Thank you so much for telling me now, though. Let me just speed this up. It's gonna be fun to see everything just kind of get removed. <laughs> How are you fitting a table inside one of these? That is what I want to know. Alright, good work. Uh, let's check up on your casual- on our casualty. The mob boss? Sure. They kill him? <coughs> then Belomo. Cough, cough. Ew. I think he's trying to say something. I mean, they didn't kill him. Which of you red piss mother effers did this? 
No one did this to you, Poppy. It was an accident. Should your thinking mother listen good to both of you? If I knew which of you have started the fire, I'd snap your stinking neck. But my time is done. I'm going to die in this effing bed. And there's a family business to run. The Palermo name is all we've got left, so you do the honorable thing in your dirty piece of shit, F's capiche? We know what to do, pups. What you having back? This isn't over, Nico. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple days. We've got to secure the prison before uh, we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen. From here you can control the tactical deployment of all your guards. Deploy and uh, a spread of guards to all the cell blocks and rooms. Assign 10 guards to stations around the prison. That should be sufficient to show our strength for now. I also want to patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facilities. Okay. Uh, anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Okay, all good. Two deaths today. Two deaths? Michael Hacker has hacked into the White House a few times. How is he dead? What happened to these guys? Billy Louie was one to champions in horseback racing, but during one race he agitated his horse too much. Okay, so deploy 10 guards around the prison. Sign guards. Uh, I, oh, actually, wait, I need to deploy guards first. Staff. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, to patrol the inner courtyard. How how much do I need to patrol? Does this count as like two guards? How many guards do you want? Oh, I think I understand. So they want me to go ahead and do this, right? To every single area. Another oh, inside the cell. <laughs> we don't need to go to the inside the cell here. One guard to watch them in there, one guard in there. Uh, when you say patrol, you want me to uh, go ahead and uh, there's, there's a way. There we go. Patrols. Uh, blue patrol. Okay. Assign guards. Uh, I didn't assign... A bunch of guards for that now, did I? We have a lot of work to still do. We need to turn over or to turn our attention to replacing the kitchen and canteen. First, we need to rebuild the kitchen. You'll need to install several pieces of equipment and hire some chefs. Once that's done, build a new canteen. Uh, once you have all that completed, the chefs will automatically start preparing meals for the entire prison. If you aren't sure what to do at any time, try highlighting the objective in the to-do list to, some, uh, to see some hints. Okay. A bit quiet now, though. Yep, I, I might have, um, give me a second, I mean, I need to fix this. Uh, yes, no. No, 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 get rid of all of you. Get rid of all of you. I only meant to assign one. Actually, assign two guards, right? So, one, two. Canteen and kitchen. Uh, how big do you want it to be? I 
I'm flipping no. <laughs> okay, how many cooks? Uh, install two serving tables. Install at least six tables. So how, how many cooks? I'll just get this many. There we go. There should be enough. Rooms, kitchen. I will have make a kitchen right here, I guess. Why not? And canteen is going to be like right here. And then I will continue this in the next video because I'm going to have to end this one right here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, I'm enjoying the game so far. I'm looking forward to actually playing through the thingy, the, the actual like from zero and then build up my own prison. Uh, but the campaign, is, uh, the campaign is not half bad. Uh, it's uh, pretty enjoyable. And I've actually never seen anyone record the campaign. I've only ever seen anyone record the, um, the, the build your own prison. So, you know, it's, it's all good. Uh, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching. If you did, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.